Welcome back to Ohio, everybody. We got a, an amazing episode. We got some money. We're going to spend it. It is still January, and I'll show you why. We haven't advanced to February yet. We got a Stara Auger Wagon that's on sale half off. We just lost one of the <laughs> headers. 16899 So, like, what we could use this for, there's so many things we could use this for. I think it's important that we should consider buying this because we could use it for running fertilizer to, I do plan on getting bigger cedars, planters, whatever, and then our seed as well. And also we could even use it for any of our grains. If we were going to fill the, you know, our chicken area up with this and we could just park this by the chicken and not have to keep going to the silo. There's so many things that could be used for 16,000. I think we're, let's do it. Uh, let's get some, what do we want to go with for tires? So I wonder if I should go with the lizard so it's more level. Let's do the lizard and then... Oh, we can do wide too. Is these wide? Ah, let's just leave it on standard. So 16,899. Let's do it. Why not? It's on sale. Buy that. Alright. And then one other thing I wanted to do before we pop to the next day. Let's go ahead and fill up our, our fertilizer tank here. It is completely empty. We'll fill it all the way to the top. So it's going to cost us 61000 to do that. But let's do that. All right. That is full. Excellent. How is our lime? We can actually use lime this year, so I think we could just... Yeah, let's just not worry about that. Unless we get a different field where we're going to need some. But I think we'll be all right. Let's go ahead and advance to February. And then we'll check the sales. And I think we're going to buy some equipment. All right, property maintenance, four grand. It'd be nice to get some passive income to take care of that. I suppose we could say the chickens are, but they ain't quite making us break even yet on daily fees. All right, let's check the sales. Oh, mama. <laughs> this is going to be tempting. What is it? 9R. What is the horsepower? That's 462 to 670 for 100 and. 47. Sprayer we decided was good. We don't need that. This actually doesn't have... This only goes to 27. We got more of a widespread than that. Although the price would be roughly the same. So yeah, we should really consider this. Otherwise, I was thinking to go with uh, this guy here. But when we look at the price now, that's 217 for 375 horse. But this is going to give us... Is this upgraded? Well, we the low model's 462. I think we should go with this. It does have uh, 35 hours on it, which is mm, a little steep, but uh, I think we should do it. And then we'll get this one instead of the other one. We could always upgrade the engine later if we need it, uh, depending on what we're pulling. But at 462 right now, we... That's pretty good. <laughs> that's, that's really good. I think we got really lucky that this popped into the sale. Uh, what do we want to go with here? I think I'm going to do Michelin on this one. Wheel setup. I don't think we're going to do anything too crazy right now. Try to keep costs low. We'll just leave on standard. Design is actually EU if we do... Oh, so the US is actually no different. We'll do U.S., of course, because that's where we are. Front weight. I don't think we really need any yet. We can always configure that later. Uh, we can also do an... No, we have to do an attacher in the... If it comes with the three-point, we can always tr put a trailer on. Wow. What a steal. All right, 147. Let's do it. Wow. That is great. So now that leaves us with 355000 I do want to buy that conveyor. So let's get that out of the way. That's been sitting on our mind to get for a long time. I will, let's just go ahead and go for this one. So we don't have to keep uh, backing our, aug or our gravity boxes back and forth. We should be able to just pull up and then dump. So let's go with this. 18000 That's like nothing for us right now. And then... I want to look at upgrading our 
planter first. So as we look at the planters, we have this one. We'll go ahead and sell it and empty it out before we sell it. But we want something a little more wider. That's four and a half meters. So we got this nine one, which would be all right. And we got, oh, there's this one here for 12. 300 of horsepower. Now we can easily pull that with what we just bought. Otherwise, there's both of these. But I don't know if I want to spend all that money now. <laughs> but we did get a deal on that one. Uh, this one here would be kind of cool because it's the horse pack that I haven't used yet. That's a 12 meter and they want 208. I think we're going to go with this planter. It's just cheaper. Yeah, there's like no configuration on it. Let me change this plate up just a little bit to uh, make it a little more interesting. Okay. Okay, 160,000 for this planter. We'll, uh, we'll just go with that, I guess. What's the cedar we wanted to get? We have this one. No, we have th this one here. Yeah, the Pottinger. That is six meters. And I was thinking of this one, but we actually can't even afford that. So we 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 can't afford anything else. <laughs> it's twenty two. We actually might be able to buy it after we sell these. Let's uh get these two sold, and then we will uh make that decision. We might actually just buy the cedar. I do want a little overhead though with money. I don't want to run it right to zero. What we'll probably end up doing is keeping this tractor down at our other field with the grass. Possibly. Uh, actually, probably more than likely that'll happen. What we'll do is get these unloaded. So we don't waste any of the product here. Let's see. Dump. Perfect. And then we'll grab the other tractor. Actually, let's go ahead and send this on down to the farm shop. So we can get a head start. Very good. And we will grab the planter. Get that dumped out. And we'll head on down ourselves. I think we actually only used this planter once. But the sooner we go ahead and... Oops, gotta get this down so we can get under the... The sooner we go ahead and upgrade, the faster we can turn around and plant faster and, you know, we just get through stuff. Okay, let's head on down to the shop and uh, see what we got. I actually should have probably sent down another tractor because we have uh, more stuff to get than what we got for... Was that auger wagon? I didn't think of that. Well, depending on actually if we buy a cedar or not, I guess we'll we'll see what happens. Wow, look at all that. That is nice. That's nice. All right, let's get this planter sold. It's good to us for the little bit that we used it, but it's time to say goodbye. Okay. Sell that. Thirty-five thousand eight one three. All right. Let's get this across the road. We got our John Deere over there. We'll take care of that, and we'll see where we're at with that. Okay, here we go. Sell our cedar. This has been doing a lot of good for the farm. It's time to upgrade. Oh, so we are going to sell it, though. I guess if we sell it, this is it. That's a good point. Uh, what will we get for it here? 53. Um, this guy here. 300 horse. 206, that is. I guess we should be all right. I mean... <laughs> That'll be, uh, 
and we won't be able to buy anything else. I guess we won't get their grass field, but I think it'd be a good idea to get this out of the way. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's go ahead and repaint this. Repair it. And then we will sell that. And we're going to get 78,000 for that. All right. 78,562. So let's go ahead and purchase that other cedar. We could get this other horse one here. That's only 106 for that. Or excuse me, 195. 12 meters versus 15 though. But I haven't used this new horse pack yet. I think it would be kind of nice to get this on our playthrough. To actually get some use out of it a little bit. I think we'll hold off on the upgrades. There was a tank here and some other setup that we can have. We can always upgrade that later, I think. 195,000. Let's do that and then we can save some money. Again, it ain't that much, but I haven't used this pack yet, so I'm kind of interested to try it. Okay, so uh, yeah, we got a little bit of money saved, but uh, I think that's probably all we're going to buy for a while. That grass field was what? It's 59,000. So we could actually buy that, but I think we're going to hold off on that until we, otherwise we will go into debt. And it's actually going to be a little bit, whoa! It's actually going to be a little bit until we um, sell more stuff. So I don't know if one of these can double hook up. Maybe this wagon here can hook something up. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if something can double attach so <laughs> we don't have to come back. Look at this thing though. This is a 9420R John Deere. Wow. Let's fire this up. We got repair costs to do on this as well. But this is going to be very useful. I'm not a big fan of the articulating. But we do need some horsepower so. It could just be a blessing. Okay let's see here. Well, I'm hoping that auger wagon can we can always unhook it if we need to that up and then we'll see if we can hook something else behind it I hope uh, doesn't look like it's gonna happen Is there even a hitch on that? There has to be. Oops. Yeah, there is. Okay. Alright. We're going back. And we will take the, the brand new 9420. I haven't used this one yet in the any of the, or the game period, actually, so... It's kind of a treat to, uh, especially for our hard-earned money that we did ourselves. Let me uh, see how much the repair costs are going to be on this. I hope it's not too expensive. We should probably do that, though. Uh, not too bad. 6000 Let's get that taken care of. It does have a little high... Uh, running hours on it, which I'm not very happy about, but it helped us save a few bucks, I guess. Alright, we're just arriving home here. So let's see, where do we want to put this wagon? I think we'll, uh, Hmm, that's a good question. I'm gonna kinda keep stuff out of the way here for a minute. Let's just put it right here. Yeah, actually... I mean, it is a little longer than the other one, but it ain't like... We're kinda going at an angle here too, so that helps. So we're not out anything because the Amazon wasn't a direct drill either, so that's, <laughs> that's good. Um, 
this one was, but like we're we were not gaining that much off of that. I think I'd rather. Yeah. Eventually, I think we're gonna go towards something like this. Once we get the money, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get there, but we'll get there. Okay, here we are. Just gotta pick up our cedar. I suppose we didn't need it right away anyway. But I don't want anybody to think it's for sale, because it's not. Yeah, that's pretty big. I mean, other one would have been even bigger, but... Like I said, I wanted to give this one a shot once. I guess we should try to fill the rest up here with seed. We will have to top these up probably before we use them on the field. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm gonna... Hmm. Space is starting to get tight on us. These sheds should be used for the tractors maybe and then put these in the other shed. I don't know. It's starting to get tight on us. Welcome to March, everybody. 9 a.m. We could probably start getting up earlier. Now that we're getting back into the summer. We got a lot of work here to do today. Let's get this guy started. See if it can handle it. Get him a head start. I don't know if I need to do the headland. He should have plenty of room. We'll uh, give him a chance, I guess. We'll see what happens. Alright. Alrighty. Looks like he's pretty good there. Let's go ahead and... Get this unfolded. Very nice, very nice. Nice working with. We need to select our seed. We're going to do sunflowers. Yeah, the articulating tractors are... <laughs> Okay, fire her up, drop her down, and we are off to the races. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes
All right, we're finishing up here. As you can see, that was quite the task. Uh, the workers kind of become not cooperative a couple times on this field, actually. We did make it through without having to refill the planter. That was kind of nice there. Uh, one thing we do before we sign out for today's episode, let's see if we can cut down these uh, two bushes. I need to buy a chainsaw for that. These are just getting in the way. Maybe. I think this one will be able to go down here. There we go. Good. Um, this one I think is just a bush. We can walk through it any... Oh, there we go, that one. Yeah, this one's a bush then. Okay, that's a lot better. That should help with that worker in that one spot anyway. So I was thinking also, maybe next year to, like, actually we should do some more corn silage. Maybe do two or even three fields of corn silage just to really get a bunch of money. But uh, that's something we'll think about next year. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.